Well, many people over the age of 40 suffer from lower back pain, and in many cases, the medications really don't help. But one local doctor says there is one last resort medical procedure that possibly can help many of those suffering right now. With more on this is local neurologist Dr. Chad Domain. Thank you so much for joining us. Good afternoon. We're bringing out the uh, hardware today, so okay. safety first. I want to bring out my hard hat just in case any bad things happen. S safety first, always safety first, which brings us to the next question. What are some of the things that lead to this lower back pain and who does it impact mostly? Yeah, just to give some value to the statistic that you're talking about earlier, this is a low back pain is a big problem. Obviously, we all know somebody with back problems in South Louisiana. It is one out of four adults that complain of back problems within the last three months. So it's a lot of people. In terms of the economic impact, we have 102 million work days a year that are lost because of people not going to work with back pain. So this is a major economic problem. Uh, when we talk about what causes low back pain, we've discussed many times before different procedures and different causes, but there's really a couple of structures I want to point out. One being a disc and one being the facets. And as these areas degenerate, break, and so forth, that's what we as spine doctors look at that causes the majority of the back problems we see, especially in South Louisiana. And what is this last resort you want to talk to us about called lumbar fusion? And basically, how does it work? Why is this sort of like the last thing that could help people? So I always lean on my father as a welder. And I look, you know, my growing up, seeing my father work for many oil field companies, what he did as a welder is he stabilized structures. And when you talk about lumbar fusion, that's exactly what you're doing. You're introducing hardware into the building block of your spine, the bones, the facet joints, and so forth. And you can even introduce hardware to replace the disc. So as you mentioned earlier, lumbar fusion is the last option. You want to fail therapy, medications, injections, everything. Because I always tell my patients, do not get rods and screws in your back thinking your back's gonna feel better. The reason you get rods and screws in your back is because you have instability, what we call a lathesis, so the bones can move, or because the structures have broken down so much that the nerves are being impinged and you're getting neurological symptoms, so numbness, weakness, and continence. I never send patients for fusion for simple back surgery because once you fuse these segments, the segments above and below it no longer work. And what happens, they degenerate. So a lot of times back pain can stay the same or get worse. But the real goal of the surgery is to maintain neurologic function and to get rid of those symptoms going down the legs. So hold that prop up again and say, what exactly are you introducing to the person's body to help fix this problem that nothing else seems to work for? So there's many approaches to a lumbar fusion. What you see here is an artificial disc spacer. So you want to separate these bones. So as we age, these discs wear out and these bones get closer together. So where I have my finger now is what's called a foramen. This is the hole that the nerve comes out of. So you can imagine as these bones come together, that hole collapses. These guys back here are what's called pedicle screws. So the screw is put down the bone, connected to a rod to stabilize that structure. So what it's doing is keeping that hole from collapsing, allowing the nerve to go through that hole and maintaining neurological function. Again, I love the welder analogy and, the, and, and construction. You're stabilizing a structure that over time has broken down. Okay, and my last question to you, now that you've explained how it works, the best candidates and how long for recovery? I see way too many fusions in our neck of the woods. And you know, I send people for fusions all the time, but what I encourage our viewers, anybody being told to need a fusion or considering it, you really need to understand what you're getting it for. This is a one-way street. Once you get something like this, you can't undo it. Come talk to me, come talk to another doctor. But before you do this, understand why you're doing it and understand the true outcomes. And if you're getting it just to make your back feel better, take a look at this, Liz. Does this look like somebody with a back that feels really good? You need right. to do this to maintain neurological function. This is the last option. And I see way too many people get these fusions and they regret it later. And it could be, what, six weeks before you're back to normal? It's a big surgery. Several hours. You got to wear a bag brace for six to, you know, ten weeks. You're not going to be out of work for several months. A lot of recovery, physical therapy. This is a big surgery. Again, it's, it's a big commitment. Thank you so much for explaining that. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Safety first out there. Everyone Safety be safe. First. And uh, good luck, everyone. Thanks, Absolutely. Dr. Chad. Take care. Thank you.